Hello, I'm Edward from Obsidian Control Systems. Um, let's take a look at editing the patch. So once we've got our fixtures um, added in, and we've got them patched, um, we can start to edit all the various settings and information about them. First thing worth mentioning, um, we do have some additional options for our fixtures um, that can be found by expanding our menu here. So this gives us additional options such as um, exclude from grandmaster control, um, exclude from being swapped. Um, so you've got some additional settings there that you can go in and edit for your fixtures. With moving lights, you will have your invert option. So that's where you can go and click on a particular fixture. And you'll notice here we've got the option to invert pan, invert tilt, or swap pan and tilt for that particular fixture. So that's where we can go and configure that. Um, but we can also go and start to change the fixture ID, the fixture universe, um, or the fixtures address. And we can either do that um, using more of kind of interacting with the user interface or we could do that through command line. So let's take a look at that. So let's say that actually fixtures 101 through 108, actually I want those to be numbered one through to eight. So I wanna keep the DMX addressing as it is, but I just wanna change that user ID number. Well, there's a couple of different ways that I could do that. If I want to do that through the user interface, I could actually go and click and drag to select those IDs, and then I can type in the start ID that I would like. And I'm going to say 1 to start these at fixture number 1. And if I hit enter, you'll see there that the console has then gone in and changed the fixture IDs to start at 1. If I wanted to do that through the command line, so let's say I want to put them back to fixture 101, to do that through the command line completely, I could go and say move 1 through 8 at 101, enter. And that's how we can actually go and reassign those fixture IDs. We can move those fixtures to a different fixture ID. How about if we want to change the DMX address of a particular fixture? Maybe we've made a mistake and we need to set the fixture, uh, fixture's DMX address to something else. Well, very simply, if I want to just to change one fixture's address, I could go and click on that address and set it to something different. 401, for example. So I can very quickly go and set that fixture's address to something else. Or, a little bit like we, we did earlier with uh, the command line, we could go and address multiple fixtures at once through the command line. So I'm going to go in this time, say 501 through 506 at, and this time I'm going to go and say 301, enter. And you'll notice that that block readdresses those fixtures one after the other. For the purposes of this, I'm just going to go and quickly set them back to how we had them before. So select those fixtures, set them back to the original DMX address, 273. And there we go. We're back to how they were originally. So that's how we can go and start to readdress our fixtures if we want to. I can also go and move them to a completely different universe if I wanted to. So again, I'm going to select my Fuge Wash fixtures. And if I select their universe ID there... I'm going to go and move those onto universe 2 and hit enter. So you can see there you can start to very quickly go and edit your patch information if needed uh, once you've already got the fixtures added in.